Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wind Down uh, Friday in this new episode. Today, our guest is uh, Gautier Chico, the CEO Hello. of I Am Fab. Hi, Gautier. How are Hello. You? Hello, everyone. Good. Thanks a lot for, for being here. Where are you located, Gautier? We, we are in Grenoble, uh, in the Alps, in, in France. Good. So, uh, Gautier, you you are, as I, I said at the beginning, uh, the CEO of DiamFab. Uh, you got the PhD in nanoelectronics, nanotechnology. So can you share more about your journey from uh, completing your PhD in nanoelectronics and nanotechnology to becoming the CEO and co-founder of this new uh, company, DiamFab? So what motivated you to transition from academia to entrepreneurship? Yeah, in fact, the, my PhD is directly linked to the to the company because I, I completed my PhD um, ten years ago on diamonds as a semiconductor, yeah. and uh, after two postdoc, uh, three research uh, professor, which uh, whom I, I done my PhD, offered me the the chance to work again on diamond mm -hmm. uh, to promote CNRS uh, R&D work on diamond by creating a startup. And uh, I'm a scientific, I'm not an entrepreneur at the beginning, but the, the rest can be summed up uh, by the, the quote from uh, Richard Branson, who says that if someone offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure you can do it, say yes, and then learn how to do it later. So that's what uh, I've done. Uh, and in fact, I, I've built this uh, company on solid scientific foundation, uh, a technology in which I, I believed and knew all the, the potential. And my aim is to spread the message uh, across. So, I mean, in fact, it's not very different from the job I, I wanted to to do straight after my PhD thesis because I, I wanted to do a associate professor, which combine mm -hmm. research and transmission of knowledge. And today, I, I'm in contact with people every day. I'm developing a technology, and uh, I'm above all, we we get some people on board to to develop this technology together. So it's a great uh, technological adventure, but also a, a human one. So I enjoy uh, my job every day and it's a good transition between a, a PhD and now being a CEO of a, a technological startup. Nice. So uh, your company is focusing on uh, the development of diamond power electronics solutions, components. So what are, so what are the key advantages of uh, using diamond as a, a material? Uh, and uh, how do they compare to traditional semiconductor materials? Yeah, it's DMFAB is, uh, DMFAB, sorry, diamond is an incredible uh, material. Uh, even uh, uh, 40 years after I started working on it, I'm still uh, discovering application every day. I was in a, a conference uh, last week and I'm still uh, impressed by all the application you can uh, you can find. But the one that interests uh, us at DMFAB is uh, electrical power management, and especially a better and more efficient one. Yeah. And typically, uh, with diamond, on, with one micrometer of diamond, you can hold uh, 1,000 volts in the off state, okay. uh, which also means that uh, we have a small thickness to pass through in the off on state, so we can pass a lot of current in a very small area. Uh, mm -hmm. Typically, we demonstrated uh, 1,000 uh, amp uh, per square centimeter as a as a current density. So once you say that, you you have the you got the attention of power electronic people. But that's not all. Diamond is also a super uh, thermal conductor. It's five times better than copper, so which is great uh, for components that uh, transmit a lot of power. So we can imagine device where the cooling system will be three times uh, more compact than that of uh, the same uh, silicon carbide devices. So Diamond is there, therefore positioned as the next uh, generation of semiconductor uh, material for power application. And, they, uh, and in, just to summarize, it's, it's a material that will have a reduced impact from manufacturer because we will use less material uh, to use age because diamond component will uh, show higher efficiency than uh, than traditional semiconductor. So it's very, the, the main application in our mind and with uh, the uh, what we, we have is, is, uh, is power, uh, power electronics. So as the CEO and co-founder of Dime, Dime Fab, so what is your vision for, for the growth, for the company's growth and the impact in the semiconductor industry in particular? How are you balancing? How do you balance innovation with the practical aspects of uh, running a business? Just talking about uh, that is uh, 
a sort of new, not so new. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It, it, the fact is, I've always been uh, always always been attracted by uh, by electronics, and it was during my uh, my engineering studies uh, in Grenoble, so that I realized that electronics are everywhere, and I wanted to to understand how and why and uh, how we can change things. So that's why I get specialized in the, in semiconductor in the so in the in the upstream of the of the value chain uh, and especially in this new wide band gap uh, semiconductor and with uh, during my phd thesis i, I met uh, Raleigh, the cto of the co-founder of the company uh, and we identified the power on, of this technology very early uh, and we say to ourselves that we wanted to to do our part and change an energy management so we we set up Dianfab with the idea of becoming a key player in the electrification as we say, we, we want to be a pioneer, but we want to be useful pioneer. We want to to develop a technology that will be useful for for change thing. But the fact is that, uh, as as you mentioned in your question, that developing a new material uh, on devices takes time. So we need to find partners that are able to understand uh, that and to accompany us with this long term vision. So that's why, in addition to uh, financial partners, so typically mm-hmm. a venture capital. Mm-hmm. Uh, we choose uh, very early to get close to industrial players from our sectors. And uh, today, partnership and co-development is part of the DNA of the startup. And it's, a crucial, it's crucial for us to mix innovation and business. And uh, our partners of today will be the customer of, of tomorrow. And it's essential to, to find the market. We need to, to have this vision and uh, this partnership. Yeah. Nice. So beyond your job, Gautier, so I would like to to learn more about uh, the person behind the professional. So what are some of your hobbies, activities that you engage during uh, your free time? So do, how do you manage to maintain healthy work-life balance? <coughs> what, what activities or be, uh, hobbies do you enjoy outside uh, of work uh, to stay uh, motivated, to relax? So maybe with a good wine, a good food, so reading a book, tell me more. Yeah, it's it's a good opportunity also for me to talk about in the same interview to talk about diamond, bicycle, and sausages. <laughs> in the in the same interview, it's the first time I will do that uh, because yes, I I like to manufacturing uh, to manufacture things myself and not just diamond. Uh, I make my own dry sausage and smoked fish and smoked meat at home. So uh, it's a kind of science also because you need to try different recipes before finding the right drying time, the right smoking time. So well, eating is good, but uh, you also need uh, to do exercise. So I really uh, enjoy cycling uh, first as daily commuting. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to, to commute by bike in Grenoble, but also as a sport, road cycling around Grenoble in the mountain is nice. Or even, on, uh, especially as a way of traveling, alone or with my family. So typically uh, with my wife and my two little daughters, we go on a bike tour for one or two weeks uh, a year. And it's a great way of seeing the countryside without going too, fa- too fast, but you can uh, you can move a certain distance. So it's like slow travel and it's perfect to, to make this great memory. So, and typically this, this uh, kind of holidays is also uh, one thing that I need to to keep to to have healthy work life balance, uh, not to work too much at weekends, and to take at least uh, six weeks of holidays a year with my children. So I am fully available for my two little daughters, and uh, it's helped to recharge my batteries before coming back to work. So it's it's very important. Great, thank you. So what year? My last one, my last question for you. Looking forward, looking ahead. So what are strategic goals planning for Dan Fab in the next years? The next couple of years so there are are there any upcoming projects innovations that you are particularly excited about yeah i will answer more generally but the what, what we want to to do is uh with my associate it just we want to show that uh, our diamond technology can be an industrial reality thanks to the to incredible technical performance that we mm-hmm. can provide mm-hmm. but also can be econ- economically competitive uh, because yes, diamond can be synthesized at a reasonable cost. We use methane, hydrogen, and, and electricity to make it. And we say that at Diamond we are unleashing the full potential of diamond as a semiconductor. So our ambition is to make diamond 
available to improve all the applications and can be improved thanks to, to these properties. And we want, of course, to be a key player in this sector, which we are actively helping to, to develop. So I just, uh, in order, to, I would like to people keep in mind that Diamond is no longer uh, just a laboratory object, but it's becoming an industrial reality. So we are working on, on uh, typically on, uh, on, on what can I say to overcome all the obstacles that are needed to, to, to bring Diamond to, to industrial reality. And at the same time, we are also developing this device with the partners in order to, to reach the market uh, uh, as, as soon as possible. Good. So let's, uh, let's Diamond for, for electronics. Thanks a lot, uh, Gautier. Thank you for, for this opportunity to have you at Wind Down Friday. Have a good weekend and uh, talk soon. See you next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maurizio. Have a good weekend too.